Hi, I'm Senator Kevin Dahl from Northfield, Senate District 20, and uh, we're wrapping up the year, and I would say we've had a really successful session this, uh, this last few months. Uh, personally, it was very rewarding to work for the constituents of Senate District 20. Uh, I passed some, some good legislation, I think, that'll help a lot of the people in my district. We uh, beefed up some of the consumer protections and the propane uh, laws in, in terms of how they get propane and, and uh, making repayments or payments over a longer period of schedule a lot easier. Uh, we uh, got good news recently on an initiative for the University of Minnesota in the Forever Green program. It's going to help farmers and uh, Minnesota in terms of jobs, but also the Forever Green is, is a good environmental policy bill that's going to help our, our, our waters, our land, our streams, and, and conservation efforts. Uh, a lot of work in education this last session. Uh, personally, I had some bills on special education caseloads and and trying to lessen the load for our special education teachers. Uh, made some fixes in the Minnesota teacher licensure to make sure that we still have great teachers in front of our classroom, but not create barriers that they can't get a, a teacher license. Uh, we also had some, uh, some uh, military compact, which will help children of military um, be able to transfer from state to state without worrying about their graduation or, or, or education a diploma becoming a, a problem there. Uh, I passed a hit and run bill this last session. Uh, when people hit someone or something, they have to stop and check it out. It's a good policy. It shouldn't be a defense for people uh, if indeed they struck a someone who could be dying on the highways. Uh, tweaked some open meeting law uh, language regarding, uh, uh, brought to me by the Townships Association. Uh, it'll help in regards to social media. So. Uh, those are some some things. I worked on some others. Uh, a lot of constituent service uh, work this last session. And the bigger picture, I think Minnesota is going to come out really great. Uh, of course, we passed a minimum wage bill that's going to help a lot of folks across Minnesota. A uh, living wage, uh, the Women's Economic Security Act, uh, the Safe and Supportive Schools Act, uh, a bonding bill. And I'm pleased to say that uh, the city of Montgomery had a safety center, some dollars for the safety center, and I hope that's going to help that community and the and the outlying area. And of course, over uh, a half a, a billion dollars of tax breaks for homeowners and renters and even farmers. So uh, we have balanced the budget, we have a little money in reserve, and we're ready for the long haul. So it's been a really productive session, fast and furious, and always pleased to do work on behalf of my constituents and the rest of the citizens of Minnesota. Thanks.